Uh, and I come into work. I just and did. There it. he is. <laughs> Well, you're going for C4 yeah, I, got the, I got two like within like 10 seconds. God. But what happens when you when you don't have any more C4s? You kill yourself. <laughs> and goodbye. So Nash is going for uh, what I'm challenge is this? Two C4 kills in 30 seconds, but it was really easy. I did it like in 10 seconds. I'm trying to get let's, uh, this badge. Like we're creating a badge. Um, so let me see if I can get double kill. Oh god, lots of ruinous. Oh god, I forgot oh. how you see four. <laughs> Did you design this challenge or no? What are you doing here, buddy? Let me hold on. Let me just, let me go ahead and do this real quick. Oh god. Okay. Oh god, he's dangerous. He's real dangerous. <laughs> let me just, let me just do some of this. <laughs> you taste it. Ah! <laughs> ah! So... Lesson learned. You see four next time. Come over here, you little bastard. Uh, oh God. Word to the wise: use more RPGs and C four. So we got Hutch over here. It's oh, ten it's in the crap. morning, playing Rage. Oh, get crap on. Lucky bastard. Hey, girl. Are you filming a real moment to respawn? Yes, I am. Uh, What's up? What would you like me to talk about today? I'm going to talk about your, uh, your, uh, your rage, rage knowledge. Rage is awesome. Have you played this uh, game yet? Yes, I have. <laughs> it's awesome. It's uh, 60 frames a second. Real, real gorgeous. <coughs> uh, a lot of fun. Like 10 hours into it. That's a boring one. Give me something. Okay, let's talk about uh, Occupy something. You really want me to talk about that Let's one? go for it. You really want me to talk about that? Go okay. for it. Okay, so, oh, God damn it. you want your channel to become political? All right, let's go, let's, let's do it. Let's become political. I'm, I'm going to give you guys a real, real objective view of what Occupy is. So Occupy is a movement that started in uh, New York with Occupy Wall Street. It's a group of people that are upset with disparity in wealth and corporate influence on the legislation, legislation process. So the corporations, for example, can lobby certain politicians for laws to be passed that fit their agenda. And some people see that as a conflict of interest, takes wealth away from American workers and things like that. At least that's what uh, the message is. I'll remain neutral. I'm just presenting objective facts right now. Uh, after it popped up in Wall Street, it ended up popping up in 951 cities across the, uh, across the world in one day, which is nuts. Just millions of people all over the streets, uh, not being covered by mainstream media, unsurprisingly. Um, and when it is covered, they're often discredited as a group of unorganized, apathetic, lazy stoners, which I actually spent uh, the day in Occupy LA yesterday. Yeah, how was that for you? It was a lot of fun. Um, not going to talk... No, Wood, you're not going to get that out of me. <laughs> I wasn't trying to. I had, I had a good day. I had a real good day. Um, but the event itself was really wonderful. It was awesome. Everybody there was nice. Uh, most everybody there was not lazy. They were interested in participa part participating in the uh, political process. They were interested in participating in that little commune right there. Um, it, the, whole, the whole thing was really cool. And whether or not you... Uh, the, the, the big criticism with Occupy is that there is no cohesive message or list of demands or things like that. But that's kind of the point. There is no central leadership to this whole thing. It all spread virally like a YouTube video across the world. And what's funny is that these guys don't plan on leaving. They plan on staying. They're planning events in L.A. through December. And so uh, if, if it accomplishes anything, it accomplishes getting people talking and finding a solution. So that's why I am uh, unwaveringly supportive of the Occupy movement. Hey, you just got learned. Ugh. Oh. Hey, like that matters. Occupy Arkham. <laughs> <laughs>